Hey, I'm Sanat Casillas, born and raised in the Toronto area. Both of my parents are from Trinidad, and my culinary background is from Trinidad, and I really enjoyed growing up here and experiencing all these different cultures from the world. As a big family, growing up, we didn't have a lot, but the one thing that we did have always was an abundance of food and good food. Red cat pot sauce is about family. It's as familiar to me as maybe Heinz ketchup is to you, right? Like it just, it's got that place on the table. It is about sharing, number one, the, the culture, the, that heritage of, you know, this is a training pepper sauce. And also, you know, discovering the uniqueness of my family recipe. That heritage and that, those teachings that my parents gave me is something that I want to, to share with other people. My dad uh, passed away in 2020, and we're creating the business in his honor. There's a traditional Hindu ceremony where you, you shave your head. So he did the ceremony and he was in Trinidad to shield his head from the, that hot Trinidad sun. He went and got this red cap and then he never took it off. And we've decided to name the company the Red Cap Hot Sauce Company. It's undescribable, I would say. It's, it's a, it has its taste of its own. It's a recipe from my grandmother to my parents to myself, which I would love to pass on to my kids. It makes me happy that my son is taking on one of the recipe and trying to preserve it so it will go on from generation to come. We would say that we put flavor first, heat second, but a close second. It's hot, but it's not burn your pants off hot. It's a really versatile sauce. There's a lot of ingredients in there that really will add flavor to your food. There's garlic, celery, cilantro, lemon, lime. There's a herb in there known more commonly in West Indian food as it goes by three names, calantro, cilantro, or pandanya. And I had a, a chef come up to me in this commercial kitchen that we cook out of. And you know, he said, I've been a chef for 30 years, but I've never seen this, this herb. And so that ability to share something that is unique to us with the world is important to me. People wrote in naming all kinds of different meats that you could put in on, pasta, pizza, of course, barbecue things. And one of the most common things people wrote back on is to put on eggs in the morning. Here in Canada, we get exposure to cultures from all over the world. And that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to share my culture and heritage with, with you and the world. And that's where you come in. We've done a number of pilot studies we're producing in a, in a commercial kitchen, and we want help to scale. We, we want to get the sauce to more people. We'd like to go after some certifications for people with dietary restrictions, such as gluten-free, and we'd like to get the attention of distributors and retailers. I remember a time where I shared a bottle of our sauce with a friend, uh, and she took it very excitedly, and she was like, okay, I gotta go hide this. It's only to be shared with my special visitors, which is great, but we think this is meant to be shared. So. Thank you for supporting and please tell a friend.